You know, it hasn't hit me until recently that I've realized how much of an introvert I've truly become. I've been stuck between this duality of wanting to stay home and just kind of do my own thing. And then there's the other side of me that wants to be more social and make new friends. It's kind of crazy to even say this, but I think all the self-quarantining we did during COVID really messed me up. Although during that time, I really learned about myself and what I was capable of. No distractions, just me. But being locked in for like two years and being told that spending time with loved ones was a bad thing had such a negative impact on my life. I'm relearning how to trust people again, accepting new energy into my life. And since changing my mindset as of lately from you don't need anybody to maybe you actually do need somebody sometimes, I've been able to meet some dope individuals from all walks of life and also be inspired from them. And this is the main thing that I think I've forgotten, how it feels to be a part of a community, a group of people who share the same interests as you and that you can just vibe with. And to be honest, it's tough to even write these words down and explain it to you guys, but all that changes today. All right, so we just gonna jump into this. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Please excuse my voice if it sounds a little like nasally or sounds a little stuffy. And that's because I am. I have been plagued with like allergies or I don't even know what it is, but I woke up, I've been sneezing all day. I literally ran through this whole box of tissue already this morning. I've just literally been sneezing my brains out. But the show must go on. And so as you guys can tell, we have a bunch of packages here that we need to open and I figured we'll make like a little part two segment for you guys. We actually have a bunch of cool stuff here today, so I'm actually pretty excited. So let's just jump into it. Let's start with this. Nice and easy, because these are pretty much open already. But this is a pickleball set. This was sent over from, I forgot the name of the company that sent it over, but they sent over a, you know, they sent over a pair for me and Char so that we can play together. And honestly, we've never played pickleball before. Me and Char actually used to play tennis back in high school and I feel like this would have a good carryover for like the skills and just learning how to play. So yeah, I'm actually very excited to test these out. We actually need to go pick up a ball for it. But yeah, we got matching ones. Boom. Shouts to the Pickle Master. All right, we'll set these aside. Up next, this one is from Owl. So this one's a midnight hoodie and this one's a graffiti hoodie. Ooh. Ooh, this is like a super soft hoodie. Look at the color on this, this is sick. That's nice. I'll throw some B-roll on the screen for you guys, but this is from the brand Hours. They call this Midnight, but this is like a mauve midnight purple to me. And I actually got this one in a size medium. It's actually super soft inside, and the material is actually really nice. What are we saying? Ooh, this hoodie is actually really nice. It's actually a little cold in here, so I'm gonna keep this on. You know, this hoodie is actually really nice. It's got a little drop shoulder on it. The inside is actually really soft too. I'll toss up some like close-up of the inside, but the inside's like, feels really premium actually. Like, to me, it kind of feels like a mix of like an essentials hoodie and then also like a Abercrombie hoodie with like how soft it is on the inside. And I actually really like this a lot. Plus the color on it is fire. Let me go ahead and open this second one up for you guys so you can see what this one looks like too. And this one is the black graffiti hoodie. The back actually has some stuff on it too. It's the logo, I think it says, what does it say? I think it says ours. Oh, yeah, it says ours collection. I just read it on the front, so that makes sense. It goes ours and then collection. But yeah, I got both of these in a size medium. But yeah, they're honestly pretty heavy, man. I'm actually excited to wear these. And like I said, this one's already feeling mad cozy, so. Shouts to ours, appreciate you guys. All right, we might as well get through the clothes before we get onto like the techie stuff, because we have a mix of clothes and like tech stuff for you guys today. And if you guys didn't know, I actually am a huge like, I don't want to call it a nerd or like a geek, but like I've always loved computers growing up, like being around like technology, cameras, anything like that, like gadgets, anything that had to do with like tech. Like that was, that was my thing like growing up. So yeah, this is a t-shirt from, I believe it's Maraud. Um, I actually featured them in another video when they sent me over like a big care package. So yeah, they actually just dropped a new t-shirt. So let's check it out. You guys already know the handwritten notes are so clutch. I love these things. So yeah, it says, thank you for rocking with the brand fam. Keep inspiring. This one I got in a size large. The graphics on it are really cool. Plus, I love the gray, like the gray fade of these t-shirts. Like even under this one, I don't know if you guys saw it earlier, but this one is a gray, like a washed gray. You know when, when you wash a black tee so many times that it starts to become like grayish or whatever? That's what these remind me of and I love it. Like they literally go with everything and I think they look better than black. But that's just me, that's just me. Honestly, I'm probably gonna crop this a little bit because it does look a little long, but you know, I think for summer and springtime, this is gonna be nice. So yeah, shouts to Marat for this. 
On to the next. This one is from Polo, Ralph Lauren. I've actually worked with them in the past and they actually just released this Polo 67 Blue. I don't know how many people they've sent this out to, but essentially they're giving away a free trip to New York to meet the new face of Polo and that's Aaron Judge. I don't really watch baseball, but some of you guys might know him. So here's that. Oh, they actually gave a hat too. I don't really wear dad hats. I'll probably give this to my dad, but very cool. Let's see what it smells like. Oh. Oh, that's actually surprisingly nice. It honestly reminds me of the ocean. It's like fresh like that. So this, I would say, leans more on like the sweeter citrusy side versus the woody and musk. I personally don't like those smells at all. So shouts to Polo for this. And hopefully we can win that trip to New York because I am trying to go back. And like I said, if it's for free, I'm definitely trying to go. All right, so up next, we actually have these invisible phone tripod stands. These are from a brand called Moft. And again, they actually sent uh, two, one for me and one for Char. And they actually have four colors available, but we got black and white. But yo, these are game changers. Let me show you guys how these work. So this is what we have. I know it doesn't look like very much, but essentially, let me grab my phone and I'll be right back. All right, so pretty much, I actually have a pop socket on the back of my phone. We'll go ahead and remove that off. This is the MagSafe version, if you guys didn't know already, from PopSocket. So this actually has a MagSafe backing to it too. You put it on the back of your phone, check it out. Voila, instant tripod. Bro, this is crazy. And the best part is the hinge is super strong. Like you could face it any direction and it will stay. Like, look at that. And it also holds this way. You can literally take this anywhere. Like, let's say you're at like a cafe and you don't really want to carry like your big old camera with you. Um, you can use this to vlog and the fact that you can change the angles and it will stay like that's crazy that the hinge on this is so strong I cannot emphasize how strong this hinge is I actually really recommend these for anybody who films anything or does any kind of content This is a must in your tool bag All right, this one I've actually been saving for quite some time to open now This one's from a company called work louder if you guys create content or if you guys do any kind of editing but it's essentially like a micro keyboard. That's like a extension of your actual keyboard. But essentially what you can do with all these keys are you can program them to uh, different functions and different programs. Let's say for example, like in Premiere Pro, if I wanna program one of these to cut or like splice or ripple delete or something like that, I can program one of these buttons to it. That way I don't have to memorize like the shortcuts on the actual keyboard but I can just hit these hotkeys. This one actually has a bunch of configurations. I think there's 12 buttons on here. Oh, on the back it actually says there's 12 buttons, two rotary encoders, and two touch sensors. This is also full RGB as well with LEDs, and it's connected via USB-C. And they've also actually sent over all these like hotkeys. But yeah, these are essentially the like hotkeys that you would program the keyboard to work with on your um, applications. Oh. But yo, check this out. It's so cool. And they have that like nice clicky sound. I don't know if you guys like that sound, but my keyboard is actually very clicky as well. This is the, I think this is the Logitech MX keys. Very clicky. And this, just as clicky. Ooh, and this feels nice. This is like the rotary knob. That feels super nice. Also a rotary knob. And I believe this is the touch sensor here. Hopefully in the next video, I'll have this set up and I can show you guys and walk you through it in case some of you guys might be interested in this. And so that is the Creator Micro from Work Louder. Appreciate you guys for sending this one over. Now onto the last and final one. All this I was excited for, right? But this I'm actually very much excited for. Let's just go ahead and open it. I haven't even opened it yet because I've been waiting to unbox it with you guys. So let's go ahead and open that up. We'll open this one up too while we're at it. Yo, all right. I'm hyped. All right, so the first thing they sent up was the Hollyland Mars M1 Enhanced. And then over here, uh, they sent over the Mars 4K system. So what the Mars 4K essentially does is uh, the receiver sends out a signal to the transceiver and then essentially I'm able to use the wireless monitor wirelessly. Since I've been like vlogging and filming a little bit more, I've been finding that I'm like reviewing or like I'm connecting my like uh, cameras to my iPhone. And I don't know about you guys, but I personally don't really like using my phone as a monitor because number one, 
you need your phone. You need to be able to do stuff with it. Like what if like a phone call comes in while you're recording? Like that's not a good situation. Um, even when I had my drone, um, I know you can use your phone as a monitor, but for the same reason, I never use my phone as a monitor. Like it just disconnects everything and then you got to go back and reconnect. Like it's, it's such a hassle. So I've never been a fan of using your phone as a monitor and so that's essentially what these are for i think i'm going to be making a full video on both of these for you guys in case uh some of you guys might be interested and so yeah i think that pretty much will conclude it for today's little unboxing that's pretty much all i have for you guys today let me just double check yeah i think that's pretty much it and so yeah i'll go ahead and leave links of everything in the description for you guys below um, but yeah look out for the next video where i actually put some of this tech to test Whew. all right man that was i think that was it Trying to like talk to the camera with like allergies and like a stuffy nose is just impossible, man. It's impossible. So here we go. We're out. See you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're actually on the way to link up with a, what would you call them? Like, yeah, like another local creator here. It's so hard to find local creatives in San Diego. Oh, I think that's him right there, so. Just pulled up to the Hilton, LA for two days. Let's go. Is that it? Chemistry was crazy from the get go. Neither one of us knew why. We didn't build nothing overnight, cause a love like this takes some time. People swore it off as a face. Said we can't. Now from top to bottom, they see that we did that. Yes, it's so true that yes. we've been through it. Yes, we got real shit. Yes, see, baby, we've been too strong for too long. And I can't be without you, baby. Hey, man. Long exception. Long exception. I know. I need a. <laughs> we gotta level up our shit. <laughs> Pulled out, you know, we're riding, baby. Yeah. What's up to the gang? If you guys, um, you guys haven't watched other cinematic vlogs, <laughs> way more cinematic than what we do. Nah, not go, even. Come on, you gotta go crazy. Come on. Oh, we shooting on. Talk to me. What you got? Got the A6700 with the 16 to 35. Yeah. Sony. You know what the vibe is? Testing it out. Little road mic. Little setup. Yeah. Allergies is. I caught an allergy. Allergies is allergy. <laughs> Poor thing. This side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead. Thought my raps were the facts. So they sat with the bars. What are we saying? Hmm. Yo, these aren't bad. It's but they're giving like, off 2000. Oh, uh, no. Gentle Monster frames. Can't even say the name. Gentle Monster. Yo, we're trying on every single Gentle Monster frame until I find the one that works for me. We found one. We found one? Maybe. I want to see. <laughs> okay, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> it's false. But they don't need to stay. 
Yeah, they don't. You're kind of mad. You're like a vibe. Alright, you guys. What do you guys think? It's a copper job. Because it's always a copper. <laughs> oh, these are. This is the Margella collab. Not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad, huh? I kind of like these. Oh, look, babe. I think I found my frames. <laughs> My old frames. And we out. This place is not for me. I don't know what you got going on. She's trying. To, she's I'm in trying to debate mode. Those are fire though. Those are nice. So I want like new glasses, but like what's throwing me off is the tint right now. We are set the enemies for the devil. Find one we must spare. Old side and fell for your way. That's crazy. See all my biceps. <laughs> Is this your spot? This is my spot. Do we get a discount? You think about it. I'm gonna think about it. You think about it. <laughs> Yo, I don't even. I do not even know where we're ordering. Okay, guys. Like for the first time, we're having a marinated crab. Marinated crab. Raw marinated crab. Raw marinated crab. This is a little bit scary, but I'm so down. Straight raw marinated crab, bro. They do have uni bowls, which is like, wait, which sounds so good, and actually looks so good too. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah, it's complimentary from the chef. Oh, That's right. Right. oh yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Alright y'all, it's been a night. Until tomorrow. Bro, shorts and Tim's is crazy, but it's raining outside and I gotta go outside to go pick up my workout bag. Morning. about to head into Chrome Hearts, but you guys already know they do not even let you hold your camera in there, so. We're not even gonna try. We're gonna try and maybe sneak something in, maybe a little iPhone, I don't know. <laughs> Feeling a little risky today, so we're gonna see. Wish us luck. That's good. That's a 10. That's a 10. What we say? 9.25. Okay, okay, silver. What about you? Oh, 10.25. That's a solid 9.5 for me. I'm going to give it an 8.75. 
It's like what, what there would, almost, but you know. What would make it a test? For me? If it tasted better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit sweet. We're back on our Operation Scare Shark. Ooh, show us only. Hopefully, she didn't see me. Let's see. Not scared. Three hundred bucks. Copper drop. We don't cop. We cop it. We cop it. We about to throw these on right now. Hold this. Those cost what? As much as the Timbos? I wake up here. All right. Ooh. He's out. He's out. We out. Sick. Okay. Fire. Do you feel you got a lie? Give me Yeah. <laughs> 